dad had me wanted to say something in Indonesia at first, but I'm just going to pass it. Uh, I just want to do apologize that my presentation will be in English. I think through the uh, introduction, uh, as you well know, I've been here for quite a while. Uh, I mean, I am, and I do consider myself Indonesian. The only regret that I have is, of course, not being able to speak Indonesian. Um, I understand my dad in Indonesian. I think anybody can understand him. Yeah. Your parents get upset. <laughs> Still, that Indonesian you understand regardless. Um, but anyway, I'll do my presentation in English. Um, hopefully, uh, it'll be clear enough if we get any signal. Um, so, uh, I am currently a lecturer uh, at the University of California, Berkeley, in the mechanical engineering department. Uh, the difference between a lecturer and a professor is that I don't have to uh, do research. Uh, I don't have to raise money for the university. Uh, I figure if I have the skill to raise money, I'll just raise money for myself rather than the university. So I'm there for the sole purpose of teaching. Okay, all I do is do teaching. Most other professors, uh, as you, if you're not aware of, UC Berkeley is actually not a school. It's actually a research institution. Uh, Everybody is there to do research. And teaching is just a side effect. Teaching is a side effect so that we can get the best of the best. Is it working? Is it USB? Okay. Uh, you don't have a the normal VGA connected? Yeah. <coughs> Great. Figure. Uh, do you have it? Do you have the normal VGA connection? Yeah, I think that'll be easier. Yeah. Excuse the technology. Always someone who talks about technology and technology will fail. Um, so um, I did my you know the tail end of the elementary school here. I went through the high school system that's here. And then, of course, went to Berkeley. I went to Berkeley as an undergraduate. Uh, and then in four years as an undergraduate, I didn't think I learned enough. And also, I was scared to go to work. So I decided, uh, OK, I'll stay in school as long as my parents are paying for the tuition, um, <laughs> as, as, most, as most students do. So then I did my graduate program, did the master's. At that point, I think my parents were already sweating and saying, God, how long is this guy going to be in school? <laughs> uh, and then, of course, what happens is after the master's, I figured out oh, I, didn't, I didn't learn enough then either. So I go, OK, I'll go for a PhD. Yeah, why not? Again, I didn't want to work. I just stayed in school. Uh, and, and unfortunately, here, there's a wonderful system here that after one year of graduate student, and then you go into research, and then the university actually pays for all your tuitions and pays for you, so the rest of the ride was free. My parents breathed a sigh of relief, and then at that point, they didn't care how long I was in school. Uh, <laughs> um, and, then, um, and then after that, uh, during the time, just to give you a little bit of a background, I know that most here, you guys are entrepreneurs. I don't really consider myself entrepreneurs, but during the craziness of being a student, it wasn't exciting enough. Uh, Berkeley wasn't giving me enough work. I decided to start a company while I was a student uh, that was there. Uh, that company is still in existence. It is small. You're looking at them right here. Um, <laughs> and it's a consulting company that I, that I do because here, just like anywhere else, uh, as a lecturer's salary, you can't really survive, so you have to do consulting. But the two goes hand in hand. It's good. It's always good to have the, the university name when you go in the consulting. They don't believe whatever you say. <laughs> Not that you have to believe anything that I say, but well, we get to this. Um, so I, I have some slides, and I want to show some of the technologies that are there, what is currently the big technology, at least what they say the big technologies are going to be for 2010, what some of the area of future research is. Oh, wow, well, oops. You're not supposed to see my wife's picture there. But anyway. <laughs> That's OK. She's, she's my inspiration, so. So yeah, that's why the students also know when I'm behind the computer presenting, I'm actually looking at my wife rather than <laughs> So, all right, so I'll, I'll begin and start. Let me know if all of a sudden you can't hear me clearly. Um, so 2010, this is not that okay, I knew this, but uh, since this afternoon when I was told I was going to talk here, you know, thank you. Another great technology, of course, Google, so I just Googled it. Um, this is pretty much the top five technology of what they're claiming is in 2010. If you look at this, there's the tablet, the computing platform. Of course, you know the iPad came about. Dell's about to release the tablet. And the face of computing is going to change with the tablet. Um, there's the Geo, which is the combination of GPS and its usage with applications, with the mobile phone, real-time search web experience, and so forth. And I listed the top five. There's actually top ten that goes on to it. But the majority of it is the web, OK? The internet and the web, that's sort of the big new platform now, both for business 
For the longest time, nobody knew how to go about making money and business in the web, but I think that's sort of coming along. And in the new future, everything, we're going to be connected. I can't live without my cell phone. Uh, I didn't have a cell phone for the longest time, even though I was in technology. I'm sort of a very late technology adapter, believe it or not. I like the manual phone. My other cell phone was really big until my students made fun of me. <laughs> then finally, I got a Blackberry, and then now, of course, all my students email me all the time. And I can't be without it, and it's not buzzing. So technology is not necessarily good. But what I wanted to point out on this is you got to realize the web is here, and the web's here to stay. That's really sort of booming. In terms of my students, that's it. The Apple apps, you know, that's their old dream. Everybody wants to be Steve Jobs, uh, and so forth. But the web is a good place to be in. Right, next slide, please. Thank you. OK, but then I'd like to talk a little bit about the future, the future technology. And that usually comes from research, or what's hot in the research area. These are the things that at Berkeley we're mainly focused on, one of the areas I'm actually working on. But a uh, big thing is, of course, alternative energy. And everybody's heard of this, right? Everybody's going through. Uh, it's an interesting emotional reaction, but it's there. Solar power is getting big. The battery technologies, of course, everything is focusing on. Right now, electric cars, that is sort of the limiting factor. Okay, Battery technology is always going to be somewhat of a limiting factor. There's going to be drive between battery and factory, but that's battery technology. But one thing you want to know about battery technology, it hasn't changed for almost 50, 55 years, and I don't think it's going to happen in the next two years either. But people are pushing, okay? Um, the electric car, limiting factor, again, the batteries. Okay? Now, if you look at all the devices, it's sort of interesting. A few years ago, we sort of went and turned green. Right, you know the big thing, this big push about being green and everything else. But then all of a sudden, everything goes, you know, your phone that's usually on the landline goes to a phone that's on battery. And battery is actually very toxic. But it is, it is the path of the future, okay? And alternative energy, again, as long as the price of energy is getting more and more expensive, and this whole idea of the carbon footprint, the drive for alternative energy is going to happen, okay? Biomedical research, that's definitely a very, very big area. That they are considering is the future Silicon Valley equivalent okay, in the near future. Here you can see, if you are aware of this area, the whole south of market area, that whole place is going to be a bio, uh, biotechnology hotbed. Uh, on our campus ourselves, the amount of money that's being invested on the sort of uh, southwest corner, okay, it's all due to biotech. Okay, and where biotech comes in is really the first one that comes through through discovery. All it's about is really patents. Okay, just to give you some idea of it, besides stem search, okay, they have already successfully made an artificial kidney, okay, which is a synthetic kidney. This means a fully functional living kidney is not a replacement kidney from somewhere else. It is actually synthetically grown. Okay, I've been told that liver is the next one that they're going to go for. Okay. And you've heard about stem cells being used to target cancers. Okay, these are sort of the big thing. It is a struggle for the U.S. because there are certain aspects of the stem cells, but stem cells is a big future, and you hear quite a bit about that. Another area is, of course, microfluidics, which is nanotechnology. And again, the understanding of microfluidics comes about from the technology of actually guiding these stem cells and being able to control delivery into the human body. Okay. I have seen actually literally that they have grown a heart valve uh, off of these stem cells and how they deliver it through it and then new heart valves are built. So at some point, you don't need to do heart replacement anymore. I don't know if that's actually good or bad, but anyway, that's where the drive is. The area that I'm in, which is mechatronics, okay, and engineering in some sense is sort of funny. If you haven't heard the term mechatronics, it's not much different than robotics, okay? Once all of a sudden there's a bad sort of stigma about robotics, then you change the word. So now sort of mechatronics, I'll actually show a video. It is leading to the area of human rehabilitation. Okay, and that's also a bigger area because now as the future goes on, right, our senior population is actually growing. And the aspect is how to take care of the senior population. It's going to be difficult. Okay, so what happens is you want to give them technology and uh, the capability of being as independent as long as you can. Okay, 